Assalamu alaikum I welcome you all good afternoon everybody and I can see a lot of student right now with us uh, thank you everybody for joining and this is a very very unique and special kind of course and this is uh, a course which is recommended by Delhi uh, the, the University Grant Commission and the course title is it's a two graded course course title is research and publication ethics so we'll be talking about this research and publication ethics in detail so here is the title you can see everybody i hope these these things are visible to all of you left side i have mentioned research and publication ethics and on the right side you can see morality philosophy concept politics behavior these all are some we are reflecting on a different different issue in social science commerce management as well as in the science so here you can see everybody the syllabus uh, before we understand what we going to discuss here we have a guidelines very very clear guidelines by university grant commission that we will be having six unit the unit 1 it is about philosophy and ethics philosophy is a concept is a kind of construct because if you think of philosophy you will find very very few people those who will be talking about indian philosophy so you think of philosophy you google it you will see a lot of people from european country a lot of people from western world and you will see they have given a different different kind of concept about philosophy and ethics also so our first unit the focus would be on philosophy we will try to define philosophy the nature of philosophy what are the scopes what are the different dimensions what are the concepts of philosophy what are the different branches of uh, philosophy so it's going to be a kind of subject which we never ever studied i believe in commerce and management we never study what is philosophy but here because when you think of your degree it is basically a philosophy right it is because it's a doctorate of philosophy phd similarly just think of mphil master of philosophy but have you ever thought that why they are offering us doctorate of philosophy and master of philosophy and that philosophy would be in a specific subject maybe in management maybe in commerce maybe in economics maybe in science maybe in social science so what is why we have to study this philosophy so what is the role of philosophy in your phd we will talk about it and beside that very very important ingredient of the unit 1 it gonna be ethics so we'll talk about ethics what is ethics and what is the role of ethics in philosophy and what are the moral values what is the nature of moral judgment and reactions so i have uh, very very unique kind of story i will discuss with you for example if i ask you can we buy everything with money so we'll talk about that because it would represent some weir nature of morality uh, moral values in india also just think of 20 year back our culture was totally different we were not talking about online things and there used to be a limitation but now things has changed so i believe i'm not sure about whether we can buy everything with money so we'll talk about that so don't worry it's going to be a kind of discussion so it is about unit 1 then here you can see whenever you write a paper and whenever you supposed to write your phd you want that it should be acceptable whosoever read your article whosoever read your phd in the world not in india in the whole world who read your article who see your phd they will like your phd and they will accept your research work so whenever we think of writing phd or article we need to adopt scientific way scientific conduct of writing a research so here ethics play a very very important role science play a very very important role what is that scientific method what is that scientific method we will talk about that don't worry so that's why in starting i mention i requested you please note down all possible questions whatever comes in your mind 
I would like to give answer to your questions because I have been into research for last 20 years. We will talk about intellectual honesty and research integrity. We will talk about scientific misconduct also because when you become master of th something, you know how to break the rules because now you are a master. Now you know how to go for misconduct because you have power, you have knowledge. So in PhD also, because PhD is a kind of research where actually you become master of something, master of a particular topic. So here, when you become a master of a particular topic, you need to take care of scientific misconduct. You should not indulge in uh, what you call illegal activities or those kind of conduct which are not acceptable like falsification, fabrication and plagiarism. I hope plagiarism you understand, falsification and fabrication will talk. And then very, very important redundant publication. What is this redundant publication we will talk about? It means duplicate in India. India is the hub. India is a hub where you will find large number of uh, duplicate journals, right? And they look like a original journal, but these are not a original journal. So you, how you find out what is the procedure to check which journal is original and which journal is duplicate. So we'll talk about Salemi slicing. We will talking about overlapping publication. And finally, very, very important thing in unit two, selecting reporting and misrepresentation of data. As I told you, you become master of a particular topic. Now you know how to misrepresent information, how to misrepresent data, how to misconduct with the, with the information. So this would be a kind of caveat. This, is, this would be a kind of learning that we should not indulge our, ourselves in this kind of misconduct or misrepresentation of data. Now comes to unit three. It would be about uh, not only research publication, but publication ethics. What is publication ethics? We'll talk about that when you, when you think of sending your article or your PhD for publication, what are the rules where you should send it? Should you pay or you should not pay? So there are a guidelines of international organization in social science. The organization name is COPE. And in science, we call it WAM, W-A-M-E. So this is one concept. What are the best practices around the world about publication ethics? We'll talk about that. And then very, very important thing, conflict of interest. You may have conflict with your supervisor. You may have conflict with your institution. You may have conflict with your organization. You may have conflict with all stakeholders or maybe those who give you response when you collect data. So how to take care of all those activity with your stakeholders so that you will not indulge in conflict of interest. And then publication misconduct. So we have a research misconduct and then a publication misconduct. So what are the unethical behavior? What are the unethical practices? How we violate publication ethics? How we violate authorship relationship? and how we go for public misconduct and finally predatory publisher journals predatory journals means a duplicate and those who are not valid journals right so now UGC has you know clear-cut mention when you think of getting job when you go for a public uh, when you go for promotion you should have this kind of publication in this kind of journal so we'll talk about what kind of journal we have and where we supposed to send our uh, paper for publication. Otherwise, what happens many times, you send your publication paper for publication, you pay money and when it comes for promotion, they say that these paper are not good. These journals are, uh, you know, predatory journals. So we cannot consider it for as a research. You have, you know, put a lot of efforts lot of things you have done and unfortunately you came to know that this is not working so this is very unfortunate so we'll talk about that that what is predatory publisher and how to take care of that so this is about unit 3 
then we'll talk about unit 4 here you can see uh, open access publishing recently university grant commission has issued another notice another guidelines and uh, that is regarding that instead of going for paper publication in hard copy you should send your paper in open access right which is basically a soft copy with those who publishes in in a soft copy and these papers are available for all everybody can read it generally what happens when you want to go for review of literature and you search for uh, articles research paper generally these journals these paper these articles are paid you need to pay money when it is in open access you are not supposed to pay money it's open for all anyone can access it anyone can use it anyone can learn from that and anyone can get idea from that and what you need to do you need to cite their work you need to acknowledge their work so here how many uh, you know different journals we have which are publishing your paper in online format and that would be not only online it would be open also for all and what kind of copyright issues are there can you self archive your work for example you send your paper for publication now you want that copy of that paper should be in your own institution in your library in soft form right that is not in hard copy but in uh, soft copy so that we'll talk about at what are the different policies regarding this what government says what ugc says and how you can take permission from the journals or publisher that you going to keep one copy in your institution so that everybody can access that copy everybody can see that copy so we'll talk about software tools to identify predatory publication so we have software also which help us to identify that these are valid software these are valid uh, journals and these are valid open journals so you can send your paper and they don't charge any money from you so it this we'll discuss in fourth unit and then we we'll talk about publication misconduct so in this there would be a kind of discussion we will take individual research your articles your paper your phd thesis research and we will discuss individually with you and we'll have a kind of discussion and related to your topic what kind of possible mis publication misconduct may occur that we will discuss what kind of ethical issue may occur that we will discuss with you especially very very specific to your your topic your research your paper your phd work what may be the possible conflict of interest or if you feel that you need to file a complaint against a journal against someone as who may be the stakeholders of your uh, research so where you can file a complaint where you can appeal so because in india there have been a lot of lot or it has become a hub of uh, fraud where we actually have lot of journals they invite uh, paper and what they do they charge charge huge huge amount and they don't pay, put it on open access this is very unfortunate so they charge from you also and they charge from those who want to subscribe your paper so what you would like to have you want that everybody should read your paper but if someone has to pay some money to read your paper then very few people would be able to pay and will be able to read your paper in that case nobody will be able to cite your paper and why you send your paper for publication because you wish you want that everybody those who are uh, reading uh, the similar kind of stuff similar kind of material they should read your paper also and should learn from you and cite you i hope this is the object of your paper and then we'll talk about very very important softwares and you all are aware of we talk about uh, turnitin and orkund for plagiarism so we'll talk about that that how we can use it and that will really help us before we send our paper before we send our paper for publication uh, uh, 
so before we send paper for publication what we going to do we will uh, use this software and this software will help us now let me go ahead and here you can see the last unit unit 6 it is about databases and research matrix now we have very few organization what they have done they have been maintaining database they have been maintaining index and they have been maintaining a record of your paper your articles right who is citing you how many citation you received so in science we have web of science we'll talk about that and what kind of matrix what kind of uh, impact factor you have personally what kind of impact factor your journal has so we'll talk about that because nowadays when you select a journal you want the impact factor of journal should be highest so not only the impact factor of journal impact factor of individual also we'll talk about that individual individual sorry impact factor of uh, uh, your paper you yourself your paper and journal impact factor so we'll talk about that that how we can calculate is it based on how many people have seen your article so we'll talk about that right so this is what i thought i should discuss before i move further the six unit which we'll discuss in uh, Uh, days to come so we'll have classes every saturday and sunday so here you can see me myself and this is my address and you can contact me but we are continuing with uh, our 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 work just give me one minute